The Central family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing. How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. Not to mention that I wouldn't mind getting out of this enclave for a bit. I mean, come on, how bad could it be? This is private property. I am programmed not to respond to threats until even if I lack a Another will take my place. Leave immediately. These settlers have come to Dantooine seeking privacy. This is private property. You have come from the Jedi Council. Master Matali wishes to speak. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored, though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandals as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity and the core worlds. Soon after we settled here, the Sandals arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. Somehow I imagine the story from the Sandrals would sound just about the same, don't you? The injustices the Sandrals have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently, I discovered several Sandral droids trespassing on my land. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible? Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandals. I will present the credits directly to you, of course. Whether the Council ever learns of this donation is completely up to you. Nevertheless, my offer still stands. A thousand credits for Shen's safe return. Know, however, that I will not sit idly by much longer. Eventually, I will take... You would be willing to risk open war over this. It is the Sandrals who have started this, not I. And here I thought you would blame us if we failed. I don't need to stand here and listen to such impertinence. I'm impressed, Carl. That interjection was very Jedi-like. What can I say? You picked up a few things. I'm afraid Alana's not just making idle threats. He is rash and foolish enough to attempt a full assault on the Sandral estate. Such action would result in more not war between the families. I've seen men like Alan Matali before. He's so convinced that his hatred is justified, he's prepared to do anything. And if you don't intervene, there will be war. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate. Return the young master Matali to this estate.
I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. I brought my family here to find peace and safety, not to be harassed and treated like common criminals. Your council has no authority here, and I respectfully ask you to leave this property at once. Jedi are renowned for their fairness in pursuit of justice. There is nothing to fear from us, unless you have something to hide. That's quite a line. You actually believe that? Don't you think someone is allowed to value privacy? Privacy is all well and good, but justice must be valued higher. Is it not obvious to you that this man hides something? Actually, it is. All I'm saying is that not everyone welcomes the sight of a Jedi with open arms. Better get used to it. I trust you will show yourself out. If not, my security droids will be sure to... My name is Raheja. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. Yes, Cassus was my brother. He was working on archaeological digs here on Dantooine when he disappeared. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. You must understand that father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. You don't think that perhaps there's more to look at here, do you? Of course not. It seems very simple to me. The Council must be allowed to decide the next step. No. Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. The Jedi Council does not have the authority to search our estate, and if Father finds out his secret has been revealed, he might kill Shen right away. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the... There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Shen and I, we... Well, we have been taught by our families to hate each other. But I met Shen alone one day in the city, away from his father. And, and Shen was so charming, so sweet. Please find Shen and free him. with me are you working for my father rescue me it's not my own safety if I escape no if you can convince Raheja to escape with us I will accompany you who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped I was taught to hate the Sandrals to think of them as evil and subhuman she was like an angel all white silks and perfume, seeming to float above the crowds. I don't know what else I could have done but fall in love with her. Our families are always coming between us one way or another. Please find her and convince her to run away with me.
What are you doing here? Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. She is not just Shen. Rahasia. Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. You're right. We should go as fast as we can. You're right. We should. There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Vahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Now I will get revenge for your transgressions! No! Father, don't do this! We don't always need to be fighting like this! It's gone too far for that, Vahesha! Alan has crossed the line one too many times. Ha! For what you've done to me and my family, I will see you dead! Are you mad? They will slaughter each other. What are you doing? You trying to get everyone here killed? No, don't! This... this has all gone horribly wrong. We are at each other's throats now, fighting over our children's lives when they are old enough to live their own. He is my son! How can he disrespect my wishes like this? <laughs> what? No, no! I never did anything to your son! I... I knew you were lying, you dog! I just think I thought it might not have been you! So I'll take your son from you! Father, no! Die! Shen! Die! Yeah! <laughs> No! The master has been injured. Terminate all opposition. Destroy the invaders. There was a battle near one of the southern estates recently. Many people were killed. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> Indeed. I cannot prove anything, but I have my suspicions. I will keep my eye on you, Padawan. There has been a report of a terrible battle near the Sandral estate to the south of the Enclave. Apparently a large force of droids attacked the estate. The defending droids returned in kind. The attacking family was apparently the Matali family, launching an attack on the Sandral estate. Both entire families were slain, including the boy Shen, who had been reported missing. There was a mention that someone noticed one or more other persons leaving the battle area after the conflict had finished. You were in that area, were you not? Did you see something? Is that so? I cannot find fault with your statement, but something in your manner is odd. But no matter, more pressing things are at hand. 
You must always remember the destruction and chaos that the dark side can reap, and avoid it at all costs. It's obvious Master Vandar senses something is not right with your story, yet he chooses to believe you, and I will not question the wisdom of a Jedi Master. 